All right, restart. Battery dies. Sorry, this battery's lasting. I just charged it up this morning. That's why it's lasting. It didn't have time to dissipate overnight. Or didn't have time to dissipate after the fact. All righty. Still using the GI Tonto. With a baton that weighs 20 pounds. <laughs> that one. GI Tonto. I've got another one here I want to use real quick. Oh, i got to stand up for a minute. Um, here's the one I've been talking about. Recon Scout. You've seen it before. Start it out again. Look for more vids on these knives too. So far, none of them have failed me at all. So, believe me, I'll be posting a, a bit of a failure if any of them do fail. So, but all right, let's do this now. Let's do my knee pad. Right, good deal. All right, recon scout, baby. This one I had to recently touch up because believe it or not, the blade went dull on me already. Couldn't believe it. But touched it up a bit and it's back to its former glory, back to sharper than crap. So uh, I didn't spray it down, but I didn't do WD40. Might help. Sounds almost sound like a chopper. Military. Off the business, but I'm not sure. Wow. You know what that is? Wow, I didn't think they used those railroad tracks anymore. They're moving chemicals to some of the plants that are out here. We do have plants that are still in uh, operation out here. They use chemicals and whatnot. I didn't think they still used the tracks, actually. I thought they brought everything in on semi. I guess not, because that's, that's those tracks, man. That's if, I don't know if you can hear that in the camera, but that's the rumble you hear in the background. Oh, you learned something new every day, huh? I've been living here my whole life. Like I said, I thought they quit using those things way back when, but I guess not. See what happened right there? That's why you always have to be, be very careful when you're out here doing this. I'm out here all by myself. Um, I do have a, my cell phones with me, but you know, I'd rather not have to use it. Stuff. Yep, that's that is too off in the distance. Weird, man, it's loud. Wow. Kinda tells you I'm, I'm actually not close to anybody. I'm actually pretty far out in the boonies, but there are like there are tracks over there, but I, like I said, I don't think they were in use anymore. 
Oh, that's wild. Huh. I mean, that's... Like I said, I've been uh, coming out here for a long time. That's the first time I've ever seen or heard the train out here. We're talking years I've come out here. I haven't videotaped most of it, but that was before my YouTube days. <laughs> Alright, guys. That's pretty process there, dude. Oh, got one more I can do real quick. Alright, let me back up. Buried under all the other small stuff. Pants I'm wearing today are true spec. Uh, I want to say operator's pants. I can't remember. They are true specs, though. I know that. Um, they're not the 24/7 ones, but uh, they are true spec. I want to say operator's pants, but like I said, don't quote me on that. They're real nice pants. Nice and sturdy. They clean real well. They're uh, covered in uh, water-resistant material, stain-resistant stuff. I don't think it's DuPont. Not like uh, Max Edition stuff is, but it's still uh, they're good pants. I'm impressed with them so far. They've been on a couple outings with me, been shooting range numerous times already. They still look almost brand new. In my book, they're too shiny. Even though I've used the crap out of them, they're still too shiny. You know what I mean by shiny? They don't look like they've been used hardly at all. A lot of my gear is like that, and I use the crap out of it. Maybe I should take it and roll around in the mud with all of it. But, oh, all right. Small stuff's done. Well, uh, medium size, I'd say. Medium to large stuff's done. Now the medium stuff's done, because the large stuff is already been done on that. But, uh, we're going to do some other smaller stuff now. The reason I say I was going to use this is because I can manipulate this a little bit easier. Recon 1. Clip, clip on. That's an excellent pocket knife for anybody that's in the market. A 4-1. I highly recommend it. It's a kick butt little blade. Sharp. I've touched that up a couple times because they use the crap out of it. But uh, it works real well on just about anything you need it for. Like I'm using it for this and it's gonna do its job just like it always has. Guarantee it. Oh, are we on time here? Right, we're good. We're doing good now. Yes, we are. That battery's lasting now. This is working out. This will work out good for the smaller stuff. Got a small baton here, but I don't need a big old baton to do this stuff. Let's get some nice skinny stuff here. Smaller uh, uh, kindling, I guess you could say. Yeah, like I said, so far this blade's done whatever I've asked it to. 